is Nganu. Ooh. Now, this is sort of serious, and I know this is a big interview, so I'm going to take it deadly serious. Francis Nganu, I know you're out of contract with uh, the UFC. You want to earn some big boy money? Come see the Gypsy King, and let's do a big, big fight for the baddest <gasps> MF on <gasps> the planet. And let's kick it up spicy in a cage, four ounce gloves <gasps> under Queensbury, <gasps> and let's have a badass referee like Iron <gasps> Mike Tyson. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did I just sell that to the world? <laughs> I don't think there's anybody in the world that wouldn't buy a ticket to that. Would that come before Undisputed with Usyk if uh, Nganu was prepared to do so? If the contract doesn't get signed with um, Usyk uh -huh. next for the, the fight of the century in boxing, uh -huh. then we'll do the Nganu fight, whether it's going to be in Las Vegas we or will. Wembley. Who will know? We will know quite uh -huh. soon, I think. Because if these uh, fellas don't start coming up and signing the contract for the big fight, the fight of the century, then we're moving on to greener pastures. We keep hearing the deal is done. We keep, oh, it's just a site. We figure out where. We figure out when. Yeah, U6 deal is done, you clown. Yeah, Mr. Raccoon. Get this raccoon have an ass dude out of it. I ain't trying to hear no more from this dude. About, oh, bro, you just sold it to the world, bro. Get him out of it, 100%. Raccoon sound an ass dude. What is the sticking point? What's what's holding up the contract? So at the moment, we are... Uh, Waiting for Tyson Fury to sign his half because U6 has been signed his half. Come on, Paul. It, we seem to be... Everything's going really, really well. Um, but again, there's no pen to paper. Yeah. And we haven't got a <laughs> site date or a site, you know. So, you know, these things take time and I'm not really getting involved. Frank Warren ah. and the lawyer, Robert, they're going <laughs> to sort it all out. So we'll see what happens. But I'm looking forward to that. Oh, you're not getting involved, are you? Isn't that classic? You know, what I'm one minute, oh, we nothing's going on. Or they won't put pen to paper. Next thing you know, oh, actually, I'm not trying to get involved. Which is it then? Which is it? Is it they're not signing? Is it you're not involved? I leaked a video a few days ago. I can't bother to go and show you my receipts again. The fact of the matter is, Usyk has been signed. Yeah, he's signed. It's Team Fury allegedly complaining about the level of coinage. Usyk signed people. Forget about anything. Oh, Usyk, oh, I'm sick of people not signing. And what worries me is, what does a man, or what's going through a man's head, to sit there on international TV and tell everyone, tell Joe Public, I'm getting tired of waiting. Oh, if this fight doesn't get signed soon, I'm going to fight Nganu. So what's going through a man's head to say them things, knowing you six already signed and it's his half that's the problem? Do you know what I'm saying? What's that? I, don't mean, I can't get my head around that one. And the only explanation, or the only likely, not even likely, the bottom line is, for someone to say them things, knowing the facts, knowing you six signed, knowing they're the ones holding out, it means you have no intention of making that fight, because you're putting out pure lies. Fury could say, listen people, can't tell you much, but things are going on in the background. But the fact that he comes out and literally says, oh, he says the opposite of what's true. Yeah, people are, oh, the problem right now is no one wants to sign. What the f- Usyk signed. Do you know what I'm saying? Here's the problem. Usyk's been signed. You're the problem. And yet he's literally lying to people, implying, oh, there's nothing to do. And then, he, he, in a way, he even lets slip himself of what's really going on. Uh, distancing himself. Wow, well, actually, actually, I, I don't have nothing to do with it. Oh, I bet you don't. Now it's not being signed, isn't it? Because guess what? I bet you never heard, in fact, not I bet, I know, we never heard Tyson Fury. Oh, you never heard Tyson? Listen, what happened with the um, Fury versus Chisora fight? Yeah, Fury versus Chisora 3 in December. I'll give you, man, 10 grand if you can find a video of Tyson Fury saying, Oh, you know, I'll leave it, I ain't got nothing to do with the Chisora fight. I'll leave it all to Frank. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> scarily enough, what do we know? The two fights that didn't get done, Fury versus AJ. What did Fury say? Ah, oh, not touching it. I'm leaving it to Frank and um, F Tyson Fury had Frank Warren's son all in the video and doing way too much. And now we've got the Usyk fight. What's Fury saying? Oh, I don't touch your apples and pears. Yeah. But guess what? When he was fighting Bumzora, he was in the video. Oh, 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 giving all that. Saying, don't worry, take plenty of time, Derek. Literally, he was giving Derek Chisora, Bum Zora, 
a whole bunch of extra time. Oh, don't worry, Dale Boy, you're my mate. All the Fury fans were saying, oh, well, YB, you got to understand, they're friends. He's helping his mate out. What do you mean he's helping his mate out? You mean the fans are helping his mate out? Tyson Fury didn't put his hand in his own pocket. If Tyson Fury wants to help his mate out, put his hand in his own pocket. Don't take the public's money. And then, that's what I never understood with these celebrity guys. The public love giving celebrity cats credit for things that they ain't doing. It's like when I hear about a celebrity. Oh, celebrity raises over £7 million. And you think, or well, you'd think, they was the ones giving the money out. In reality, like, the celebrity gets all the credit for it. Oh, they raised this much money. All you hear about, oh, but David Beckham raises £10 million or whatever it is. Tyson Fury raises £5 million. As if it didn't come from the public. Do you understand? It's, 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 it's all back to front. It's all what, m mushed up. Oh, no, whatever lie. A whole bag of people in my comment section. Oh, we have to get YV, step off that. You know, um, we've got to give respect to Tarzan Fury for helping his mate out, Dell. How exactly? He punched a bunch of brain cells out of his nearly. He ain't got much left. And then... Really scam the public. So wait, wait there. You scammed millions of public to help Derek. Who, by the way, is already doing better than 99.99% of the public. You know what I'm saying? But then again, you man love it. Yeah. I've, every day it goes by. I'm convinced. We already know there's a subsection of fin, fin cuck dons. Yeah. There's a load of dons out there who like to be fin cucked. There's certain dudes who work all week. Get their pay packet and give it to some next female. That's what you man's be on. On a in, on the national scale. These Tyson Fury pay-per-views, they're fin cuck scams. And you've heard the next one. I mean, look at this raccoon looking ass dude here. Look at this clown. Big clown wannabe ass. Well, it's interesting. A few days ago, people, oh, months ago, people said, why be, you know, he's not a raccoon. Listen, let's, just, just peep this guy for a minute. Peep this guy. Ooh. Now, this is sort of serious, and I know this is a big interview, so I'm going to take it deadly serious. Francis Naganu, I know you're out of contract with uh, the UFC. You want to earn some big boy money? Come see the Gypsy King, and let's do a big, big fight for the baddest MF on the planet. And let's kick it up spicy, in a cage, four-ounce gloves, under Queensbury, and let's have a badass referee like Iron Mike Tyson. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did I just sell that to the world? <laughs> I don't think there's anybody in the world that wouldn't buy a ticket to that. Would that come before? Uh -huh. I don't think there's anybody in the world that wouldn't buy a ticket to that. Did I just sell that to the world? <laughs> I don't think there's anybody in the world that wouldn't buy a ticket to that. Oh, did I just sell that to the world? <laughs> I don't think there's anybody in the world that wouldn't buy a ticket to that. Would what the fuck? Where do they find these corny sounding dudes? Like, get the guy out of 100%. God, and it's people like this dude here, yeah, Mr. Raccoon. It's people like him. These guys signify the fin and cuck problem in society right now. Did you hear me? Look at my man. My man was grinning. Look at his grinners. This cat here is what you call. Look at him. Look. Look, look at him. Look, 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 look. Look at his. Four ounce gloves look. under Queensbury. Oh. And let's have a badass referee like Iron oh. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did I just sell that to the world? Oh. I don't think there's anybody no. in the world that wouldn't buy a ticket to that. Would that come before... Undisputed with Usyk, if uh, in these guys got no shame, I'm almost lost for words. Yeah, listen, if my name weren't the YB, I'd be lost for words right now. And that's why Peter YB should go there and interview people. Are you joking? Have you seen uh, Gareth A. Davis? If it's not Gareth A. Davis, big long hair Russell Crowe wanna be asked, dude. It's this cat here about we Peter, oh, you've sold. Never mind, you've sold it. Do you see his face? Wow, you've sold it. Honestly. He looked like he's getting top off one of the, I don't know who, off, off some next OnlyFans chick. I've, honestly, I've seen Donnie's getting topped by some next OnlyFans female be less gassed, be less grinners than this guy here, Mr. Radio Raccoon. Look at the guy. Unbelievable. And it's, it's things, it's the lack of pushback, yeah, that makes it a possibility or makes it yeah, it makes it even part of the universe. Fury versus Ngannou. I ain't got, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't got a problem with the fight. Let Tyson Fury punch up Usyk. Punch up Joe Joyce. And that really is about it for me. Who else is there? Two more fights. 
That's essentially 18 months. Yeah, Fury versus Usyk 1 and 2. And Fury versus Joe Joyce. Anyone else, Hergovic, and he's already been beat. Zhang, he would have already been beat by Joe Joyce. So, that's really it. Fury versus AJ, I'm not interested at all. I don't need to see that. I've seen little midget down. I've seen middleweight punch AJ up. So, there's two fights left. But for now, about... And this guy here, he's supposed to be someone who loves boxing. Radio Donnie, here. And he's there, just gassing Fury up. And I understand it. Unfortunately, this game, you have to be that way. It's like Ben from Fight Hype. Ben from Fight Hype, he stay licking Floyd backside. Because they know that's how you... You can't be, you can't call a spade a spade and be in that game. So I understand it, but still, that's why you would never see me out there doing them things. No shame. We know the only fight that makes... Not even makes sense. The only fight right now is the Usyk fight. And yet you're there gassing Fury up. Did you hear him? Oh, wow, you've sold that to everyone in the world. The fuck? Unfortunately, that's the thing, though. I can't even call him a liar. There's probably a 10 million fin cuck dons out there getting their card out, throwing, dashing it at the screen. Can't wait to put some coins into that crap. And to be honest, it's not even, I think in four ounce gloves, it's not even a bad fight after we've seen the Usyk and Joe Joyce fight. Yeah, Fury can punch up Joe Joyce and punch up Usyk. At that point, for me, he will have earned the right to do some cornball fights. Because who else is there? Okay, maybe, actually, no. Joe Joyce, Usyk, and Jarrell, Jared Anderson. Them three. Three young bulls. Well, not young, but you know what I'm saying? Prime dudes. They're the ones we want. Then you can do all the weird MMA rubbish. But to be decided, wait a minute, you're in the middle of negotiations, allegedly. That's what I could, you're in, the, you're in the middle of negotiations. And you're out here talking about, oh, I've got a brand new one for you. The question is, why couldn't Tyson Fury come out here and say, boom, I've got a brand new one for you. Here we go, people. The Usyk fight. Here's my sign. Like, um, Nigel Benn versus um, Chris Eubank Jr. Senior, sorry. They were on the BBC. Look, people, I've signed it. Why couldn't Fury pull that one out? Look, people, Usyk signed three weeks ago. Here's mine. Yeah, signing off on it. A bat I've got in Garnu. I can't get my head around it, people. It's wild. The lack of respect. But again, the problem is, listen, when you've just sold 60,000, 70,000 tickets... Or 70,000. When you've just bumped 70,000 tickets off of plebs. In the cold. December cold in the UK. To go and sit there. Listen, 60 or probably 100,000 people. Went out to wherever it was. Wembley or wherever. To freeze their nipples off. In the UK December cold. There's no telling what you can do. Imagine that power that gives you. Wow. 80,000 plebs. Just sat there in the freezing cold and paid to watch a sparring session between me and D-level Bumzora. It's no big surprise he's out here talking about Nganu, is it? Really? Okay. With all due respect, I think the Nganu fight's more of a test than the Shizora fight. I'll be honest. Do you know what I mean? So that's the crazy thing. Fury probably thinks he's doing us a favour. Listen, people. I'll just charge you 40 bucks. To watch me fight D-level sparring Bumzora. Of course you're going to be grateful now I'm going to fight. At least he's half decent. At least he's half young. At least he ain't been fully washed. In Inganu. You know what I'm saying? And then on the back of that. On the back of talking about a completely different fight. He's then lying. About how other people ain't signed. I'd, I'd respect Isaac. And obviously he ain't never going to do this. But I'd respect him more if he just came out and said listen. I don't want to have any real fights. I mean, that's what he's doing anyway. <laughs> Regardless of whether he says it or not, that's what he's doing. His behaviour is showing. Don't listen to what people say. Listen to what they do. What's he not doing? Well, wait a minute. He just fought Bumzora 
And now you're talking about fighting MMA fighters. Meanwhile, the Usyk rubbish gets dragged out and out and out. And the last time, I have to be honest, the last time, yeah, a Tyson Fury negotiation got dragged out this much. It's been two and a half months, people. Two and a half months, literally. December 3rd to middle of February now. Two and a half months. The last time Tyson Fury negotiations were stretched out this far. The fight don't happen. But not only that, the last time negotiations were dragged out this far. The fight only happened when what? When the judge ordered it to be so. For example, AJ versus Fury, twice. We just had the last saga in September. That fell through. Yeah? The one before that. The first half of 2021. That fell through. Dragged out. Yeah, both of them dragged out and fell through. Wilder versus Fury 3. That was dragged out. The only difference, the only reason that fight happened was why the judge ordered it. My point, well, guess what? Unless any of you man have got a judge to order this fight, the odds are saying right now, you can forget about it. It's not going to happen. That's what the history shows. Give me an example of a fight where Fury's had, yeah, where it, it, it strung out for three months, four or five months, and then it ma magically happened at the end. And you've got to remember as well, these clowns, these Team Fury clowns, have been telling us since how long, God knows how long ago, oh, it's done. I had people in my comment section. Why be? Why are you lying on him for? Frank Warren just told us it's all locked in and signed. They've been saying that for two months. Yeah. And, and it was only a week ago they was telling us, oh, well, you know, fighters only have 20 years to make hundreds of millions. So, you know, the public need to understand that fighters are only making 30 million for 30 minutes work. So they don't have a lot of time to make enough money. Yeah, YB, you need to understand that making 30 million in 30 minutes, it's not a long window to make enough money. So we need to make sure we focus on the money more. Yeah, because 30 million in half an hour's work, it's just not quite cutting it. That's what the guy was doing, Bob Arum. Oh, I'm 90 years old, you see. I'm able to do this for 60 years. But Tyson Fury is only able to make 30 million in 30 minutes. So we need to make sure we focus on the numbers. Shit. And I'm sorry, but you've got to be wary of people who be dropping lyrics like that. Things that make no sense. You're telling Joe Public that a multi, a hundred millionaire, probably on the way to being a billionaire, could do. Needs to, you know what I mean? Joe Public needs to worry about Tyson Fury making more money. That to me is super problematic. Especially when this isn't a case of, we've all seen fighters not being able to make a deal before what i've never seen or what's extremely rare is when one side has no problems and it's only the other side u6 out of team fury's own mouth espn u6 has signed his deal oops so the numbers ain't that bad are they yeah anyway get ready for it fury versus u6 you heard it i mean mr raccoon he told you Oh, you've sold it to everyone. That's what's coming next, 100%. I mean, yeah, never mind Raccoon. Tyson Fury himself told you. Listen, say, so listen. If Usyk don't sign, which he's already done. So, he, again, he's already lying. But so he said, if Usyk don't sign, you're going to get the Nganu fight. So, we know Usyk has signed. So, what he means to say is, if I don't sign, which he, which he hasn't done... <laughs> I'm going to give you the Nganu fight. It's AKA, we're getting an Nganu fight. Strap yourselves in. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe. Shout out to my doggy, Darren AM, for boosting the coin up. No doubt about it.